I have a lot of people asking me how to start a print-on-demand clothing brand in my comments and my DMs. So I thought today I'll sit down and talk to you guys about how to start a print-on-demand clothing brand, cover some of the pros and the cons, websites you can use and all of that good stuff. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Taddy G and on this channel I like to share what it's truly like to run a clothing brand as well as drop in tips, tricks, gems and all of that good stuff. Now I don't know if you can tell but I am a little bit under the weather so the energy might not be there, I might be sniffing, I might be coughing but we move. So what even is print on demand? Print on demand is basically a way that you can create create and sell custom clothing without ever holding any inventory or dealing with any of the shipping or the manufacturing of this product be it a garment or a cut or artwork or whatever it may be. The reason why Put On Demand is so popular is because you only ever really part with your cash once a customer has made a purchase on your website. There's no upfront cost for inventory so you don't have to have like a space like I have and be stocked in your inventory or your clothing because everything is handled by like a factory or a distribution center wherever your particular product is coming from there's also no need to deal with fulfillment or shipping so literally you could be on a beach in Barbados running a clothing brand knowing that everything is being fulfilled wherever it's being fulfilled all you would then have to do is obviously keep an eye on you know what's happening in your business keep up with customer services and all of that sort of thing and obviously keep up with like social media posting and promoting your clothing brand and managing your website but when it comes to like the physical labor you're not really doing anything and because you're not holding any stock or inventory you don't really have to like sit there and think okay how many small t-shirts do I need to order how many medium t-shirts do I need to order what other sizes am I gonna have you can literally have the biggest range of sizes the biggest range of colors that you want the biggest range of design that you want because you're not holding any inventory. A lot of the time when we are starting clothing brands, we are restricted because of budget, because of finance. You don't want to go out there and buy like a thousand t-shirts in like 10 different styles because you don't actually know what's going to perform well. But the great thing about print on demand is that you can have 10 different styles and it doesn't matter what performs well because you're not losing any money, if that makes sense. And if one night you go to bed thinking about an idea that you have for a t-shirt design, the next day you can wake up and basically have that new t-shirt design uploaded onto your website and actually test whether or not people like that design so those are all the benefits of print on demand and why it is so so popular and probably why i get so many questions and dms but obviously with good things come you know bad things not all that glitters is gold so some of the cons of print on demand is that you do typically have a lower profit margin now when we dive into actually setting up a print on demand store you're going to see some of the profit margins that we can sort of be working with you have limited control over production because you know your garments are being fulfilled by a factory somewhere like a lot of the time you don't even know where it's coming from and so you do have little to no control over like production and the overall quality of the garment that ends up being posted to your customer obviously you can test it out by receiving samples of particular garments yourself so that you can assess the sample Samples, but you're not going to be able to carry out a uh, quality control on every single garment that's being sent out to your customer because you never really come into contact with said garment. You are very much limited when it comes to certain types of customizations. Say if you want a t-shirt but you want it to be 300 DSM made out of 100% cotton, you might not necessarily be able to, no not even you might not necessarily, you won't be able to customize it. You might be able to find a garment that like closely matches the spec that you want to go for but your customization is limited and because you know your garment doesn't actually go into production until a customer has placed an order it leads to longer delivery times now i'm not saying that when a customer places an order they're now going to go out and sew your garment from scratch no that's not really how it works they will have like blanks um, and then what they'll be doing is printing your garment and then sending it out to your customer so potentially the delivery time is going to be a bit longer but in all honesty if you're in a position where you just want to get started somehow some way but you don't really have that much of a budget or you don't really have that much time to actually be sitting there or go into an office space or storage unit or a spare bedroom in your house and actually like fulfilling orders going down
down this print on demand route there ain't nothing wrong with it and i'm gonna show you exactly how to get started with print on demand so we're gonna dive into my screen and we're gonna be using this website called printify now i have used printify before and i was actually like playing around with it yesterday just to see like how it works and how we upload things and all that good stuff so it is definitely like a really good website to use so i am gonna have printify linked in my description and in my pinned comments so if you are interested in starting a print on demand clothing brand just click on my link so i've already created an account so i'm just going to quickly log into my account as you can see we are in the printify dashboard and um, we have all of these options down here now i feel like you don't really need to dabble into all of the options really they do have printify premium which i don't feel like it's 100 percent necessary to get it is a monthly fee and you know you can see some of the um benefits of signing up to printify premium so that's 10 stores per account unlimited product designs up to 20 percent discount on all products and order management with printify connect but you can just sign up for printify for free so when you're starting your print on demand business you're going to want to decide what products you want so in all honesty typically if it's a clothing brand i'm going to advise that you stick to like sort of like t-shirt mainly and you can dabble into hoodies if you want but i would say stick mainly to t-shirts so we're going to hop over here and click t-shirts what i like about printify is that they actually do have like a really good range of t-shirts you can see they've got bella and canvas t-shirts this actual style of t-shirt is actually quite popular so let's actually click into it and read the spec of this t-shirt so it is made using 100 percent cotton it's a lightweight fabric and let's see what the gsm is it's 142 gsm which isn't that great to be fair but i know amongst the clothing brand industry bella and canvas is definitely a popular t-shirt style if you know me and you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that my favorite type of t-shirt is the stanley stella and this is the stanley stella creator t-shirt which was actually the first t-shirt that we worked with as a brand shava so this is 180 gsm 100 cotton ring spun so super super soft and it comes in a variety of colors and sizes so this is definitely the t-shirt that we're going to be working with and it is eco-friendly so what we're going to do is we're going to click over here and we can start designing you will see that this print on demand company is based here and we have another one here that is based in the uk and the netherlands so here you can sort of like compare prices and see you know which one you kind of want to go for and what i like about print clever is the fact that you can put neck labels and branded inserts so we're going to click here and start designing our design now i actually don't have a design to put on this t-shirt but a good thing about printify is that you can generate an ai image so i am on my ai generator and i'm gonna click here where it says um the style and i actually want to go for maybe a 3d model i'm torn between 3d model and line art let's try 3d model we want to type in our prompt so i'm gonna say something along the lines of lady with afro and generate images and see what sorts of images they come up with if you see down here you'll see like i already generated this image before and um, but i did it as like line art but look how wow look at those images i feel like that might be a bit much <laughs> for a, a t-shirt design no made out starting generate images the ones that i've already generated are like down here already i don't think the prompt actually understood me there but we are gonna go with this image here i do like the way that looks up here you can see it says remove background and i am gonna go ahead and remove the background that looks so much better for me um i'm gonna click over here where it says preview just so i can see what it kind of looks like on a real t-shirt and i feel like that looks quite cool now we're gonna go back 
back to edit and as you can see down here it says neck label i am gonna add a neck label and i'm gonna add some text obviously you could design this a bit more better with your own logo but for the purposes of this video i'm gonna do something like let's call it my actual brand name like shwashwa and we're gonna pop that in the middle and put in caps actually shwashwa okay and then we're gonna click over here and click save product obviously we have the like mock-ups and stuff i'm going to click this one and then click save draft as you can see i can't publish it because my printify is not actually linked to a store and you can see i now have two products so we're actually going to click into this product here and over here we can actually write what we want the product to be called so you could customize this part then write your product description and then down here is where it actually gets interesting so here is where we can select what sizes we actually want to sell so i would probably do like small medium large extra large and then over here we can start to see you know how much money we are going to make and how much the production of this particular garment is going to cost and the shipping so say if we clicked in here and we said okay i want to edit the price i want to edit the profit margin and i want to say okay i actually want a 60 percent profit margin and click apply that's going to increase our retail price to 37 us dollars so we're essentially saying that somebody is going to come in purchase this t-shirt for 37 pounds and 25 pence and i'm going to make a 60 percent profit margin on it with the production cost being 14 pound 90 and then the shipping cost being 3.99 if that makes sense to you guys perhaps putting in 60 percent is a bit much considering that it is print on demand so we can go back edit that and i'm just gonna put it at 50 percent, which means that people are gonna go in and buy my product at 29 pound and 80 pence and i'm gonna leave it like that so this is a really interesting table to play around with so next we actually need to go ahead and connect my store so we're gonna click over here where it says my new store and we're gonna click here where it says manage stores and we're gonna click here where it says connect so you can see all the different stores that you can connect so that's Etsy, Shopify, TikTok US, which I feel like would be like a money maker because imagine like just going on live all the time promoting your product unfortunately it's only for those in the us hopefully it will come to the uk soon but i feel like that would be a money maker obviously i use shopify let's try and connect it to my shopify store that i already have so we are in my admin on my actual Shopify store and I am installing Printify. So now we're literally in Shopify in print on demand. So now we could click on my products down here and we're gonna click this product here and now we're able to publish it. So in theory, it should be over here where it says products. And you can see it is here. It's got all of this um, information. And if I view it on my actual store, this is what it looks like. It does not look too shabby, to be honest. That's quite... I see why people do this whole print on demand thing. Look how quick that was to just put a product on my Shopify store. That's that on that. You've literally just seen me do that so in conclusion guys setting up a print on demand store is really simple you just saw me do it and it doesn't look too bad like my thoughts that i had for print on demand have definitely changed knowing that they have like a really good range of products and it's pretty easy to set up so i will have printify linked in my description and you can like go ahead and literally either add some print on demand products to your store <clears throat> or start up your own print on demand store from scratch i'll also have um shopify linked in my description as well so i really really hope that this video has been helpful for you guys i've shown you exactly how to start a print on demand store and how like simplistic it can be so yeah definitely definitely please subscribe to my channel um i'll be sharing more videos like this different ways to start a business and all of that good stuff and i'm sorry if the lighting is like dodgy and it's washing me out um but yeah i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i will catch you in my very next video bye